Good day, sir. I'm making CGM na parang junior. Good day, sir. I'm Jan Expical A. Santos. Hello po, sir. I am General Dita Paz. Good day, sir. I'm Blasel Di Ramirez. Um, before we proceed to the program, um, let me show you the sample output first. Um, if you run the program, uh, makikita nyo po yung sample output ng program namin. Um, the, the problem, ang yung problem po kasi is may user na mag-order ng pizza na kung saan pipili siya ng flavor, ng size, at kung pipili siya ng mga add-ons na kung saan kapag kinirate Pag pinush ay kapag kinilik yung button, um, lalabas sa JTEX area yung summary nung, nung in-order niya. Um, once na, ayun, um, dito uh, gumawa kami ng una ng J-label na J-label na kung saan meron nakasulat na, select, na text na select paper. Then, under ay ng, ano, gumawa rin kami ng J-Panel. Under ng J-Panel, gumawa kami ng, ay nag-add kami ng J-Radio button na kung saan, yun yung mga, yun yung mga flavor ng mga pizza. Then, if you click the, the, the flavor, kunyari, ham, Hawaiian, uh, mag, naglagay kami ng J-Label dito na kung saan, naka ano lang siya naka naka uh, wala siyang text na kung nakalagay sine text lang namin siya um kunyari um medium ina natin then wala mo nang add-ons then kapag kinait uh, order natin siya lalabas dito yung pizza flavor Hawaiian pizza size medium size since wala tayong nilagay na add-ons uh, maglalagay dito yung unahin Kapag um, tapos dito, total price, malalagay na agad dito yung total price sa summary. Once, eh, uli, uli. Once na nag-add tayo ng add-ons, kunyari ano naman, ham and cheese, tapos small size, then nag-add tayo ng pepper, onions, black olives, green pepper, and extra cheese. Then kapag nag-pinundit natin yung button na create order, um, kusa na mag add yung yung total price ng pepper, onions, black olives, green and pepper, extra. And kung ano yung size ng pizza na binili niya. Then, after that, kapag click natin yung X, um, X, then may lalabas siya na do you want to order again? Kapag pinindot natin yung close, ay yung no, uh, may lalabas na thank you for your order. Then, kapag kinik natin yung, uh, then, um, isa pa. Kanyari, um, Hawaiian, small size, pepper, onion, black olive. Kapag inexulit natin, may lalabas na do you want to order again? Kapag yes, yung pinili natin uulit lang siya. Kung makikita nyo dito, naka-default na talaga siya. Tapos yung radio button, i-ano uh, na lang siya. I-click-click na lang dyan. Then, kapag ina natin yung cancel, kapag pinitin natin yung cancel, uh, wala lang mangyayari sa kanya. So, this is our main code of our program, which you can see with Sir Naparan. Oh, I'm going to run the program. Okay. We set the title of the JFrame to Pizza Ordering System with the content pane with new J panel. We put we put three three J panels. And we put four J label for select flavor, for order summary, for select size, and select add ons. 
which is just for title of our J J panel. And as you can see for J J label here. Select flavor and the select size, the select add ons and order summary. And our JTEX area, which name is TXA order summary. This J, J label doesn't have a major role, it's just for title, so we're gonna skip that. So here's the first J panel, which is for J panel for flavor, which is this one. We made one J panel and we put on that J panel we put three radio buttons which is the this Hawaiian and ham and cheese and pepperoni. As you can see this three this three line uh, this three J J uh, radio button. We set it to Hawaiian and this second one is ham and cheese and the third one is pepperoni which you can see also in the program, which is this one. <laughs> Hi, hello po, sir. Uh, ito po yung part ng J panel size, which is ito. Yung dito po tayo magsaselect ng size kapag kekre, kapag order po tayo ng pizza. So dito po muna tayo. Ito po yung ano, code na nagsaset or nagkakreate ng panel ng size. Then, ito yung labels ng ako saan. Ito yung pinapakita, ano, pinapakita niya yung kung small, medium, or large size ba yung meron. Then, then dito, sisimula yung mga J button radio which is ito, mga to. Mga to. Ito yung for small size, medium, then large. Okay, sir. And then dito po, dito sa action perform for flavor radio buttons, dito is pinapakita yung yung kung anong price niya dito nagka-add ito yung small medium then rice for Hawaiian Hawaiian pizza then ito po yung action listener for ham and cheese for kapag kinilig natin to ito mag upgrade to 110 then 154 large then pepperoni for the pepperoni flavor pizza for yon dito po mag sa show good day sir now for the j panel for add-ons unlike the first two panels which have a j radio buttons for the flavor and for the size for the add-ons we use a j check box so for each selection of Add-ons, for example, is check pepper, check onions, check black olives, check green peppers, check extra cheese. We had created each one of them a J, X, a J check box. So unlike the radio buttons, we did not group this one because we want to allow the user to select multiple selection of add-ons. So if they don't have any selection of add-ons, they can also decide that. Or if they want to select all the add-ons, they can also do that. And the difference between ungrouping and grouping the J checkbox or even the J radio button, if we group them, we can only select one option, which is what we did in the reviews radio buttons next we have the btn create order so our aim when we click the create order button is we want to show the we want to show the order summary in the 
text area. So we want to display the selected flavor, the selected size, and also the selected add-ons of the user once they create the order. So in here, under the BTN create order, we add an action listener. So as we can see here. And under the action listener, we have here, as we can see, we have a series of conditional statements. We have if else statement for the for the pizza flavor, for the sizes of pizza, and also the selected add-ons. So this will determine what pizza flavor we are going to display and also what pizza size we are going to display in our text summary. Next, we also have here the a string variable for selected add-ons. In short, they can have as many as they want in selected add-ons. So, it will just plus and equals in the selected add-ons. The user also have a choice. So for example, the user did not choose any add-ons. So if the user did not have any add-ons chosen, if the selected add-ons is empty, then the text order summary will append add-ons none which means none of the selected uh, none of the selected add-ons is chosen so means that in the j check box the user did not select any of them now if the user or the customer selected add-ons or put a check or select something in the add-ons options then this one will be appended in the text area summary. So now that we have this, we only have the uh, pizza flavor and the pizza size and also the add-ons. What we want to have, what we want to append in the, what we want to display in the Text order summary is also the total price of the order. So for this one, as we can see here, in pizza prices, we have assigned a series of float variables. So what, as we can see, each of them have different prices. And each of them is assigned into certain float variable. So for example, if the customer ordered an a Hawaiian pizza flavor and small size, then the price is 90 and so on and so forth. You also have different uh, float variables for add-ons prices. Now that we have assigned or we have declared this, uh, this value of the amount of the different pizza flavor and sizes and add-ons now we can compute for the total price so for the total price we have assigned or we had created a float variable which is the total price so for the meantime scene for the meantime we have here zero as a flat value so in short wala pa tayong nilalagay or wala pa tayong na order so once the customer already selected the flavor or the size they prepare for their order and they click the create order button, the program will run this following conditional statement. So for example, if the customer selected Hawaiian as their flavor and they selected medium then it will be shown in the in the window in total prices so since we have the selected uh, we had created various variables here for the prices 
we use these float variables here in the total price. So in add-ons, if the in here, so if the customer selected check pepper, check onions, check black olives, check green peppers, check extra cheese, then all of it or all of the prices will be added to the total price. If none of them is selected, then the total price will only be consisted of the price of the size and the chosen flavor. So once it is done, since the total price already has or have the total price, we can append it or we can display it to the text area which is by this code, by using this code. We also added um, window closing event, which is also, also window event. So if the user, I, there will be a J option, a J option pane and show confirm dialog. So if the person, uh, if the user click X, uh, J, J option pane will, will show and you got, you got to choose. So here's the code for that. Here, if the user clicks the yes button, which is you want to order again, yes, we put the code here, which is the text area order summary, which is our text area, it will be set text to null. So it will go to its default settings here. And also in our radio buttons, which is Hawaiian, ham and cheese, pepperoni, small, medium, large. If we click uh, of everything and we click yes again and we want to order again, they will reset and you have to choose all over again. And else if, if the user, if the user, uh, if the user choose no, the program will close. They want to, uh, it set the vault closer operation, J frame that exit on close. They want to order again, no, thank you for, or thank you for your order, okay. Then as you can see the, our program has closed. There's also the last one, which is cancel. J option pane cancel. If you click cancel, set default closer operation J frame that do nothing on close. So it's just gonna do nothing on close and you can just do everything you want after. Like that. If yes, it would be it would erase everything, then if no, it will exit the program. And thank you.